Hello and welcome back to the second mission of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen Legacy. They were going to go into the graveyard. We're just following the first mission and Bradford has just received uh, help from another squaddy. So we're five men strong. Bradford got our sniper with us, got two grenadiers and uh, one Specialist, let's see what's going to happen. So for those of you who haven't played XCOM 1, the cemetery was always, always, the main point of contention when it came to, uh, when it came to starting missions. There was no starting mission that was worse than cemetery on a legendary playthrough. Mainly because it was incredibly packed, like you couldn't even you couldn't even move without pulling multiple packs. So I'm going to be a bit more careful here. I don't know what the score means yet, but I do have the feeling it's going to be rather important. Interesting, we're having zombies here. In the two years or so since we lost the base, I hadn't heard so much as a peep about XCOM, much less run into any familiar faces. Most people never knew we existed in the first Moving up, I want to get the I want to get um the sector out of full cover because he needs to die first. There we go. I'm down to 4 HP. Fifty-eight percent is still okay. Well, we would need to hit. That would be uh, that would be a start. There we go. Sector it down. The zombies are easy. Uh, they have incredibly low hit points. Apparently, like almost none. Which is surprising because I remember zombies, like human zombies, having eight, nine hit points. Those here only have four. It it all feels quite weird to play with those low num uh, amounts of um, hit points. We're we're just coming out of this beta strike game. Out of this beta strike game. Where everything had double had hit points. Choice. The last place you want to run into a bunch of psychic aliens is a cemetery full of fresh graves. Double time. Move, move, move. Into full cover. Let's still reload if necessary. So, judging from the amount of points that we I'm can get, I'm not sure I ever really believed in the prospect of finding survivors, and the weapons my team were after weren't going to do much on their own. Notice how I said team? That's when I started to realize what the actual payoff here was. So what I was about to say is, judging from the numbers of points that you can get, uh, having 1000 points per shot, I would give it a solid probably 12 enemies on this map. Which makes sense, we just had fought against 4, might be around 12-ish, 10-12 enemies. Right, 
Good thing is the enemy is actually moving, so we can take a couple of shots. It's another sector. It. Beautiful hit, by the way, with a sniper rifle. That's pretty good. Two sectors, two zombies. That should be easy peasy. I hadn't felt a sense of camaraderie in a long time. Most people were respectful of the surviving war veterans that were still out here. Some might even offer us a friendly smile. Still, I ran into plenty of people who couldn't do anything but blame us. Oh, so that is nice. Such a great doctors. grenade. We had all failed someone in one way or another. Yeah, well, even killed one of the zombies on top of a double kill. Here we go. Uh, she was on point until that miss. Ah, that was the wrong target. I wanted to give someone else the aid protocol. Anyways, let's try to kill the zombie. Good job. Moving up. She should have. Uh, she should have had the aid protocol. There you go. Twenty-two thousand points. I think we're doing fine so far. Together, but my new friends didn't know much about my background. To them, I was just an ex-military survivor, another broken-down veteran. As time went on, I think they started to piece it together on their own, and I didn't mind keeping them guessing. We're just going to reload uh, this turn. That's it's fine. We needed to reload. Most of the weapons were somewhat empty. Alright. I got to thinking about all the people I know for sure didn't make it out of HQ. Assuming the aliens haven't tried to clear it out, that mountain is the final resting place for a lot of good people. I had always hoped to go back there one day and put up a marker or something at least. Hello, hello, hello. We got the faceless ones. Let's go, baby. Nice. Good job. Five damage. Uh, that sounds like a job for a heavy machine gun. Or a light machine gun. There we go. Wonderful. I also realized that there are a certain amount of bony available. If you kill enemies early enough, you get like this early bird bonus, starting at 500 and then gradually reducing itself. We do have a blade uh, storm. Which means technically we can just stand here and wait. Let's still try to kill the face this one. They deal a lot of damage. How can he miss with Bladestorm? Oh wait, yeah, Bladestorm in the enemy round counts as an overwatch. So it has a 70% accuracy. Or in Bradford's case, uh, an absolute 0% accuracy. Moving on, because I want to continue fighting afterwards, so I'm already taking positions a bit closer. 
posición. Alright, sniper is moving in. I think we should give her a position. Somewhere over here. Heading to that location. Locked and loaded. Reload. Reload. Twenty six thousand. Looking good. Okay, let's try to get into full cover. Alright, and the sniper might be a bit back. We don't have any high ground, unfortunately. Well, up here, but yeah. By the way, awesome redesign of... Um, awesome redesign of of the whole uh, cemetery really well done like this is even a one-to-one -one redesign you usually started here here was high ground and you could uh, go uh, go down these two um, uh, these two braziers were always there these two houses were there there was another one over here and another one over here but pretty much like it's it is a very aligned design to the actual spirit of the map whoever designed it kudos I am enjoying it. Nice little handcrafted map here. Super good. Headed there now. Let's take a peek. Well, hello. Yeah, if, if that isn't Mr. Mewton. And a very busy snake. By the way, we could go uh, on top. I just realized there is an option to get on top. Shit. Probably should have done that. Anyways, Newton is first target. The Viper is the second one. into full cover. You know what? We're just giving him an A protocol. Which means he stands in full cover and has an aim bonus. Central is going out of line of sight. And we're taking an overwatch. Not the be most beautiful turn, but certainly one that is going to work. He needed to move twice in order to get here. Oh no. That is surprising. He has more movement than I would have expected. Mind spin. Ah, I took him over. We need to fix that next turn. Enemy is eliminated. up here we know that that's the last pack right right okay 
Which means if I move in and just melee attack him, that's solving the whole problem right away. Okay. to kill this mutant so we're taking the safe way which in this case is let's blow the effing walls away and create a line of sight Close. I'd like to make sure that we have the maximum chance to hit this guy. Easy! That was the second mission. Record time! And that was even flawless. Well, it's like it needs a while, but then he kind of warms up to the whole idea of it. Let's go, boys, let's go. We either got um, experimental ammo types or experimental grenades. Let's see. Ranger will replace frag grenade with flash grenade. That's good. That's an upgrade. Grenadiers will replace frag grenades with incendiary grenades. That's not an upgrade. Uh, gas grenades would be, but certainly not incendiary grenades. Specialists will get EMP grenade. Mm. I'm not into it. But here, the specialists will get blue screen rounds, which I love. Tracer rounds, which means the Grenadiers will both have better um, aim, which is absolute phenomenal. Talon rounds, good. And Sharpshooter AP rounds, yeah, okay, that's a no-brainer. Like, that's so much better. And look at that, we just got the augmented weapons. Anti-material um, rifle, that's the laser uh, um, equivalent. Uh, the augmented shotgun, uh, the um, magnetic rifle, we got ammunition. Yeah, and a couple new abilities as well. Revival Protocol, Shadow Strike, Dead Eye, Suppression and Demolition. Interesting, we have two different um, builds. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, look at that. Uh, we can reach Bronze, Silver and Gold. 35,000 and we're already two missions in. It's only five more missions. Which means I maybe end up here in silver, but I only got one wounded soldier so far. Maybe the later missions give more points, I don't know. The map was driving us towards what looked to be some kind of freight yard. But first we had to cut across the edge of town near a local dive bar. I remember being genuinely excited at the prospect of finding a nice stiff drink. Unfortunately, the arrival of Advent had ushered in a new era of restrictions and bans, which meant pretty much anything that you might consider fun was outlawed. Uh, look at that. Still, Complete the objective. 25,000. Enemy kills 25,500. That means 17 up, enemies maximum. Like we had just missed the action. With all the hallmarks of an Advent sweep gone 13 south, civilians. In those days, they were rounding up stragglers pretty aggressively. And it didn't take much to provoke a fight. We never did find out who it was, but odds are they were either convinced to move to a city center or dumped in a mass grave somewhere. Right. Uh, so I think that's a great point, although we're only 20 minutes in, but that's a great point uh, to call it quits for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to return exactly here um, the next time we're going to play XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Legacy. Thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment down below. Bye-bye.